So if you look on top of the camera, just to look at some of the the dials. Um, whilst, whilst not looking at the lens at the moment, the lens is set manually here. It can be focused manually and obviously you can change the aperture. But on the top of the camera, from left to right, on the left we've got the DIN or the ISO setting, so you can look up, um, you can adjust it to match your film, so if you're using a 400 film, I think that's DIN 27, so you can basically set this dial to match your film. And on this side we've obviously got the shutter speed, we've even got a bulb function on there, so you can see it's pretty basic, but there's some shutter speeds there, so obviously when you're taking your shot and you're measuring the light, you can make sure that you you put in the shutter or the desired shutter that you want to use for your shot shutter speed and then on the left hand side we've got this rather sort of nice analog looking um, counter which tells you which shot how many shots you've used in the film so obviously when you, you put a new film in you'll set it to zero and then as you take shots it will count round up to 24 or 36 depending on what film you've put in and it's quite useful because you may want to develop the film yourself and you like to maybe lose the last few shots so you know you've got a bit of film hanging out of the cartridge because that's useful if you're developing yourself because it's easier to, to get the film out. Um, so it's quite useful to know which shot you're at because it's very easy to forget, particularly if you've left the film in the camera for a period of time, you want to know what shot you got up to. Um, so it's got that, which is quite handy. Um, so going to put a film in the camera, a new film. The way we do that is there's basically one thing to be aware of on the top below the shutter release here you can see that you can turn and you can see this arrow here to the right or to the left. If you're loading a film you want to turn this to the right and if you're unwinding a film, removing it from the camera because you've used it and you want to take it out, you'll move it to the left. Let's just see here. So we're loading a film. The re reason why, sorry I should say why, is if you open up the back of the camera and look inside, so I turn up the camera, there's a little clip on this end, just lift it up, reveal the back of the camera. So you can see the shutter release here. If it, the camera is set to unload the film, which is to the left, there's no resistance and these sprockets don't turn. But when you're taking up a film, you're loading a film into the camera, if you turn this to the, the right, this side, if you turn it to the right, you'll see sprockets here move, camera takes shots and it offers resistance, in other words it will take that film on. So when the film is loaded in here, it comes across, touches the sprockets, the sprockets take on the film because this dial has been turned clockwise to the right. If you're unloading a film, so when you finish the film, the camera will be closed obviously, when you finish the film, you will turn this to the left. That will stop the resistance inside on the sprockets and that means you can then turn and return the film to its original canister. So that's a little bit of information on the Zenit TTL, how to load a film. Let's remove it. Thanks.